You're listening to the A to Z English podcast. Welcome to the A to Z English podcast. My name is Jack, and I'm here with my co-host, Sochal. And today we are going to do an idioms episode that is re related to the holiday season. And so, Sochal, our very first idiom is ring in the new year. So what does it mean to ring in the new year? Ring in the new year is a phrase used to mean basically welcoming the new year in and i guess that it got its name from some of the traditions that we have around um the new year so we usually stay up until midnight um from december 31st until january 1st and we do a countdown of some sort and you know the uh in new york the ball drops to signify the new year right. um and everyone kind of watches it on TV and there is like a loud ringing noise as the buzzer and um, the countdown. Yeah. What do you think, Jack? Does that I think I right? think back in the day, like the kids had like these ringer. I think they had like ringers, like a be like bells, like jingle bells type things or oh, something I didn't where know you, that. you shake it and, it and it's like ding dong ding, you know. So I think they oh. literally used to ring in the new year, like at the at the the moment of the new year people would start ringing bells or maybe a church bell would ring or something like that. And so I think that from all the ringing, it became a, a, an expression to like, oh, instead of bring in the new year, we ring in the new year by ringing bells and to, to huh. signify that the new year is starting. So all, all it means is to celebrate the start of the new year. That's all it means now is... So cool. I how would we use that. it in a sentence? Like I could ask you like, hey, social, how are you going to ring in the new year? Right. Yeah, that's essentially how it's used. And you could say, well, I'm going to ring in the new year by or I'm ringing in the new year by traveling, you know, to Japan or right. I wish <laughs> I'm yeah, ringing that, that in the new like year. A, yeah. Yeah, I'm ringing the new year by going to um, visit my in-laws or, you know, something. Yeah. Um, yeah, just whatever you plan to do uh, in that first month. And you can also talk about your um, your hopes and goals for the new year as well. Exactly. So, like, yeah, how are you going to how are you ringing in the new year? Is just how are you celebrating the new year? Like, what are you going to do? And then, like you said, you could also bring it even further and say i'm i'm ringing in the new year by uh starting a new new year's resolution like a a promise to like start exercising or stop smoking or something you know some kind of habit that i'm going to start that's a good habit um but yeah to ring in the new year just means to celebrate the start of the new year um number two is deck the halls this one we don't use too often only at christmas time but what does it mean to deck the halls deck the halls um it's about decorating for christmas right exactly you take it yeah, yeah. There's a yeah, song. Yeah, and I'm thinking like the halls with something, something. Yeah, I don't remember. Balls of holly, I think. Or oh, something. balls yeah. of holly. Yes. Yeah. Um, you you know, I, the, when I'm think about this one, I do think of like the expression "decked out." Ah, yeah, decked right. out means uh, someone says, "Wow, they're all decked out in." gucci or something yes. they're all dressed head to toe in designer brands gucci designer brand um or wow you're really decked out in the latest trends you know someone's wearing all the latest trends from head to toe um yeah. you could and, deck out your your house with like the best stereo equipment the best television it's like it's kind of just like the nicest stuff your 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 clothes can be decked out your your house can be decked out. Um, it just yeah, means upgraded like, with the best of the best. Yeah. 
yeah, you're just showing out fashionably with the best. And so decking the halls is just decorating with the best of the best. And it just looks full to bursting with the Christmas paraphernalia in a nice way. Yeah, it just looks more beautiful and shiny with like you know, tinsel and uh, balls Lights. of holly and yeah, all kinds Red of and green. Lights. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that might be a new uh, verbal phrase for some of our listeners out there to deck out something. So deck out or decked out. Um, the last one is, a, this is actually more common than I than I thought when I first read it, but the expression is Christmas came early. And when do, what does it mean when we say Christmas, you know, like, Ooh, Christmas came early. Um, well, it's usually used in the latter part of the year, somewhat close to Christmas, though it could be said anytime. Um, mm. And a lot of times it's in reference to like a gift, like say, or a nice, pleasant surprise or, um things looking very Christmassy. So let's say that your family randomly got you a new big screen TV and it's not even December yet. It's like November or October. And you'd be like, wow, Christmas came early this year. Thanks, guys. Yeah. And it's usually it's unexpected. So it's mm -hmm. a, it's something good that happens unexpectedly or ahead of schedule. So, you know, if, if let's say like, for example, that big screen TV, let's say you bought it and it's supposed to be delivered de December 15th, but it comes November 25th. You could say, ooh, Christmas came early because they brought it actually earlier than it was scheduled. Would that would you use it in that situation? Yeah, for sure. I think yeah. it's really common common to hear this in movies and like tv shows and stuff too yeah um yeah 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 i i like it i like this one christmas came early yeah um i think you know something good happens uh ahead of what you're planning or ahead of schedule you can just say like "Ooh, christmas came early what's this you know and so um yeah it's a it's a good uh expression i think for for our listeners out there yeah good fun expression all right. Well, why don't you guys use those expressions in an email to us at a to z English podcast at gmail.com and we'll let you know if you're correct or leave us a comment down below at a to z English podcast.com. Shoot us a message on WhatsApp, on our WhatsApp chat or on WeChat. And we will see you guys next time. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.